this trip, I have trailer problems, break the mizzen boom, try and bind it together temporarily. But I did discover the joys of vegetarian bacon. It's beginning to smell like bacon, I have to say. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, what a morning. I was meant to be going to the Lake Macquarie. It's about three days before Christmas. I was gonna stay up there for a couple of nights. Uh, went up there Australia Day last year and had a great time. Sussed out where I was gonna go, where I was gonna moor overnight and everything. Took off this morning, got about 15 minutes into the trip and I noticed there was smoke pouring out of one of the trailer wheels. So I pulled over. Now I don't think it's the bearings. Um, because I was told they make a noise before they go and it sounded fine. But I did actually grease the bearings the night before and I think I might have put too much grease on and it must have leaked out onto the brakes because it was only happening on one side. Bit of a jive. So now I've come down to Bobbin Head again, uh, which is only 10 minutes away from where I live and it seems to be fine. So I'm hoping it was just the grease on the, uh, on the brakes. Pretty hot though, it's about 26 or 27. Anyway, after three days of rain, it's good to be back on the water again. Well, as you can see, I'm on the mooring now. It's about four o'clock. Um, I saw a spare mooring. Was tacking backwards and forwards all the way up, not going forwards very much, so I decided to grab the mooring. Um, it's a pretty good spot, it's still windy, coming straight down this valley behind me. Um, we will drop off a bit later. Beautiful red gum. We've got one of those in our garden. Cottage points down there. Nice view. Guy from South Africa just paddled over to have a look. Um, he's sailing up to Newcastle tomorrow. I wouldn't take this boat out in the ocean. Too hairy. But uh, yeah, not a bad spot. As I always say, it's good to be out on the water. And this is a Tuesday too. Anyway, having a beer. Cheers. If you look over there, there's the hulk of a, a ship, or a metal ship, or paddle steam or something. Uh, and I think it was called the Waratah. That's why this is known as Waratah's Bay. It's quite shallow over there. And there's a great bush walk from Barara train station all the way down to here. And then it goes all the way along the headland round to Apple Tree Bay where we put in. It's a really nice bush walk, quite popular. The interesting thing is there's two pipes that come all the way down the track. They're now broken, of course, exposing cables in one. And the other one, I think, is a water pipe because there used to be tea rooms down here. I'm not quite sure when, but there were tea rooms and they had uh, town water and electricity all the way down here, which is in the middle of the bush, you know, interesting. It's so hot, I've um, tried to manufacture some shade using my tarp and the whisker pole. It's, uh, it's too hot to turn it into a tent just yet. Might need a bit of refinement, but um, it's definitely given me a bit of shade. I've got a bit of an innovation for breakfast tomorrow. I've got vegetarian bacon. Um, I've had it once, it smells like bacon, it tastes like bacon, and it's probably soybean. Anyway, so I'm trying to give up meat, um, we'll give that a go in the morning. It should be good. I met an interesting guy on the boat ramp this morning. He had a BL70, I think it was, trailer sailor on a double axle trailer. And I think it was about 7.8 meters long. I had a look inside, beautiful, lots of room. Um, but he told me he had it on a mooring just opposite the boat ramp and he'd moved it down from Gosford. Um, and he'd left it for like two or three months and he came out for sale the other weekend. 
and he always leaves the centerboard down. And even though it was on a mooring, uh, the centerboard had hit the bottom repeatedly on low tides and moved from side to side and actually cracked the whole centerboard case. I always thought people lifted their centerboards when they weren't sailing. But anyway, he was about about to launch with the mast down and then put the mast up while he was on the water. He told me the reason was because he can't he can't actually put the mast up until the centerboard is down. So he can't put the mast up on a trailer because he can't put the centerboard down. Which I reckon would be really tricky if the boat's rocking all over the place and you're by yourself. Um, yeah, anyway, Bill 70, I think it was. Interesting. You can see my new addition to the uh, mizzen, the Perel beads. They attach the front of the spar to the mast. I've just set up for the night, and as I've said before, Sydney in summer, there are mozzies, so I've put the mozzie net up. This one's actually to go over my hammock when I go kayaking. Um, so it's cut to fit, but I've adapted it so it works on the boat. They're barbecuing. I've given up meat. Still smells good. My Aldi cooking set has never failed me. It's hard to get out with one hand. Tonight, vegetable curry. And I'm not sure I need couscous that I'm just going to have with it. Because there's an awful lot here. Don't fall off. I'll just let it defrost a bit further. Not a bad spot. I know I keep saying it, but you know, the wind's died now. Not bad. Uh, there's only one problem with an idyllic spot like this, and it is idyllic, is up there, there's the freeway, and you can hear it. There's a sea eagle right up there in that tree. Right in the middle. Saved on the washing up. I was going to have couscous, but I don't think I need it. There's enough here for an army. Dare I say it, life's good. about three days in Sydney. Today, clear skies. It is getting pretty hot, so I still need a bit of shade. You can hear the cicadas are going bonkers. The sea eagle buddy's not there anymore. These foam mats are really great, and if you want absolute luxury, go for two. Oh, yes. Comfy. Had to move undercover. It's getting hot out there already. Sea eagles way up there. Oh, yeah. That's good. You can see the Waratah rack now clearly on the rocks there, in the middle of the frame. Okay, time to cook up some breakfast. I think I'm gonna have baked beans, a scrambled egg, and this vegetarian bacon. 
Now my daughter put me on to vegetarian bacon a few weeks ago. I don't know if it's this brand or not. Um, it tasted pretty good. I'll just see what, what it's made from. Got to put my other glasses on, I can't see. That's better. Now, what have we got here? Uh, soybean, textured pro oh, soya protein, wheat, modified starch, protein, vegetable protein mirin. Mm. Vegetable white pepper. Contains gluten and soy. So basically, I think it's made out of soybean. We'll see how we go. Well, there it is, your vegetarian bacon. Um, a bit hard to get out of the packet without it falling apart. It doesn't seem to have the consistency of real bacon. Uh, it's a bit softer. Uh, it's beginning to smell like bacon, I have to say. There's my temporary bay marie with the scrambled eggs. Baked beans. Bacon. Sort of. Hopefully it'll be the breakfast of champions. Can't guarantee it though. It's all in the timing, uh, which is not easy. And, and I'm sitting in a wind tunnel at the moment, which is also not easy. Hmm. Actually, it's not too bad. As far as bacon goes, mm, it tastes vaguely like bacon. Um, I have to use a bit of oil to get it to fry properly. Um, but as a healthy substitute, and I'm trying to stay healthy, yeah, it's not bad. Well, we're off sailing again. There's quite a strong breeze coming through here, so I haven't put the main up yet. Just going with the headsail and the mizzen. And uh, we're running, which is okay because it's easy to steer when you're running with the uh, headsail and the mizzen, but it's a bit harder to tack and point well without the mainsail up because you don't have enough power to turn. It's about 10.30 in the morning. Well, I just checked Willy Weather because I'm near enough to get phone contact from Cottage Point. And uh, it's 11 knots gusting 17. And it's the 17 bit that worries me because I've been in 17 knot winds before in this boat with only the headsail and the mizzen up and I was still overpowered. Look how fast those clouds are moving. There's only one road in and out to Cottage Point, so when there's bushfires, it's surrounded by a national park. If there's bushfires around here, it can get pretty hairy. Deep, some of these places. And over here is the Cottage Point restaurant where people fly in with seaplanes to get lunch. It's not really lunch time yet, but uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it'll be packed. And there'll be a lot of seaplanes landing over here. I think the wind's actually dropped a bit. I've got the heads all completely out now. Still a few gusts as you can see. And down that way is Acuna Bay. Um, but it's quite narrow and there's no moorings all the way down to the end, Long Creek. And there's no beaches either, so uh, it's a bit boring down there. Just to say, this is pretty pleasant sailing. Two or three knots, maybe a bit faster in the gusts. Um, two days before Christmas. Just when I said everything was going so nicely, I noticed that the end of the uh, mizzen boom a split where it joins onto the gooseneck. That's really annoying. So I'll uh, try and bind it together temporarily. There's the culprit. I shook the reef out because the wind's died right down. Wind's very fluky here. Switched by 180 degrees within seconds. And it funnels down the little valleys. 
in different directions. Well, as you can see, I'm moored again. I was looking for another mooring further down, but there's only two there. And I went past the one I was on last night, this one. I thought, well, why not? The wind's coming up again. I think Santa's come early. Ho, ho, ho. And there's a Hartley. Hartley 14, I think. Yeah, now you've seen everything. Santa's got a boat license. Haven't tidied up yet. Just relaxing, waiting for the wind to die down. Probably about five o'clock, maybe six. My latest YouTube find is Life in a Nutshell. Um, starring Wendy and Magnus. They decided to up and move to England and live in a narrow boat for, for I don't know, two or three years, I think. And they went through England on a narrow boat. And they've now sold that and bought this Vanderstadt. Beautiful boat, about 40 foot, all timber inside. They bought the boat online from Panama. Yeah, so when they got there, they were a bit worried as to whether the boat actually existed. Um, it did. Um, and the owner has left millions of spare parts on board. Millions. Magnus is an absolute genius in fixing anything. So he's always tinkering with the diesel and water pumps, fuel pumps, whatever it is. Which is I'm really envious of because I can't really do any of that. Anyway. Give them a watch, they're really good. Oh my god, there's fish going bonkers over there. They're all jumping. I think he's on. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what you're doing down here, buddy. You should be up the other end of the boat. End of the day, best time. Mate from yesterday, I think. Just soaring around. The sun's about to set behind me. The wind's died off. It's just very tranquil. Last night, I could hear all the traffic as the wind was blowing in the opposite direction. I can't hear any traffic at all tonight. It's probably about 6, 6.30, I suppose. Some late bushwalkers. All those people that watch my videos, thank you. I just like sharing some of the places I go to. I'm just so grateful. We're only an hour from Sydney, a major city, and we can experience all this. It's all national park and it's beautiful. Enough waxing lyrical time for dinner. And yes, it is vegetarian curry again, but um, it's so good, why not? This galley box really is a very good idea. Thank you, Roger. I don't think it gets much better than this. I've got one hand on the camera and one hand on the pot. I can't actually eat it. Mm. So good. So what's better than after a great vegetarian curry? Well, Aldi chocolate. Yes, I'm not plugging them. I'm not getting any money out of this, but it tastes really good. Hazelnut and dark chocolate, yum. The curry is pretty good as well. Corned beef hash than it does um, anything else. Remember corned beef hash? 
We used to have that when we went camping in England. And there you have it. Scrambled eggs made with oat milk and vegetarian bacon. Anyway, here we go. Just gently coasting back. That walking track that I talked about comes down at Waratah Bay and goes all the way along this headland and all the way around back to where the boat ramp is. Thanks for watching. See you next time.